Hello everyone, Mystic Intuition here, bringing you a 72-hour weekend read. This is going to be for February 28th through March 1st of 2020. Please, however, keep in mind that time is fluid, so whenever you view this, it could be a past, present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate at all, please try checking your moon rising and Venus signs for additional messages. Um, I want to give the warmest welcome to all of our new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you for joining the family. Um, and welcome back to all of our returning subscribers. I appreciate all of your love and support. I quickly want to go ahead and show you guys something new that I have got for our channel. I have this cute little charm board that I've created. And I have these adorable little charms. Um, some of you may have seen like Alchemy and Moon, a good friend of mine here on YouTube. She uses charms on her channel. Um, I got inspired by her. Definitely go check her out. But aren't they just like the most adorable little things? So I'm really looking forward to using some of these adorable little charms here on the channel. Guys, leave me some comments below. Tell me how you'd like to see me use these little charms. I mean, they're just adorable and I think they're just so much fun. So leave me comments, leave me suggestions down below how you'd like to see me use these little charms in some future videos. We're gonna move this stuff out of the way. For those of you who are new here, there will be timestamps in the description box. So after this reading, you can easily access your messages. This is a premiere, it is not live. You will be able to rewind if you missed your sign, but you cannot fast forward. <clears throat> we do our readings in alphabetical order of the elements, starting with air, ending with water. All right, we're gonna get started with our what, um, air signs, goodness. All right. What messages, guidance, and clarity, what insight, what information do we need to know for our air signs for this weekend? What messages do you have? What insight do we need to know for our air signs? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius for February 28th through March 1st. Innocence for Gemini. Wisdom for Libra. And freedom for for Aquarius. Alright. For Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What messages need to come through for our air signs? Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for our air signs? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. For February 28th to March 1st. Alright, you guys. As some of you already know, I do a collective message for the air signs now. It's a general message. It may or may not correlate to your actual readings. It may just be a general message for one person out there, all right? So, somebody here is kind of um, taking matters into their hands. They're kind of like, I feel like somebody here is kind of like indecisive about what they want to do, but they've kind of emotionally detached themselves or distanced themselves from the situation whilst they weigh the pros and cons, what they want to do here. This could be friends, family, love, coworkers. I think somebody here wants a new opportunity in their life. They kind of want to start a new cycle. They want kind of a fresh, fun, lighter kind of energy, and they want true love. You know, they want to make sure that moving forward with any connection, moving forward, there's not going to be any confusion. There's not going to be any uncertainty. There's not going to be any doubt. You know that this person is a ride or die. This person is here for you. This person is here to help you grow. This person coming in, they match you really well. Um, this person, you just, you know, I think you're tired of wishy-washy people. And I think you're trying to... I think you're trying to separate your emotions and your logical thoughts so that you can make clear precise decisions moving forward and how you and like what you want in your life because I think you know I think I think you know what you want in your future and I don't think that you I think you're done with wishy-washy people I just I just feel like that's just what keeps coming to mind it's like you just you're just done with that you know you want somebody who's going to reciprocate somebody who's not going to make you an option somebody who's serious and committed to you you might be like severing ties with people connections who just aren't here for you you know who aren't adding value to your life all right, keep in mind, guys, this is a general collective message. It may or may not resonate for all of you, and it may or may not even resonate with your actual readings. All right, for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Oh, four cards. Wow, okay, the messages are talking. <clears throat> all right, Geminis, we have innocence here. So there could be a situation where you have, like, this friend, okay? 
or a coworker or somebody who I think that you like, but it's like you quite didn't expect them to have these kind of hidden emotions for you. It's like all of a sudden these emotions are coming to light. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. But this is the kind of energy of, you know, you guys are just hanging out and next thing you know you realize, wait a second, he's looking at me a lot more than normal or she, gender, not gender specific here, but every time I turn around, like, you know, he's got that look or, you know, and it's like, next thing you know, you guys are actually touch hands. There's like that electric moment and you're just like, does he like me? I mean, I kind of like him, you know, and it's like really playful and sweet. And it's like, there's an innocence to it. It's like, you really thought you guys were just friends. And now you're realizing this person, you're seeing them in a different light, or maybe they're seeing you that way. And they're realizing, you know, this person, <laughs> there's more to it. Okay. There's more to it. Ooh, a lot of cards. All right, so Nine of Pentacles. Let's see, you could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Water sign. We've got a lot of Earth and Water here, but this person sees you. They see you as this single, confident, independent kind of energy here, working hard, doing your own thing. And this person doesn't want to let you go. They don't want to give up on this connection. This person, though, they've had these feelings they've been kind of holding back from you. They want to make a move and they want to express their emotions to you. They have a lot of hidden emotions, things they've kept very guarded when it comes to you. They want to come in here and move quickly towards you, but they feel like maybe you'll reject them. Maybe they feel like they've missed the boat. Maybe they feel like they've missed their opportunity with you. Maybe they feel like they're friend zoned and it kind of makes them feel, you know, left out from you. But this person, I feel like you're going to be pleasantly surprised to find out that this person has had feelings for you, much deeper feelings than they care to admit. They've been really holding back here. All right, for our Libras, we have wisdom. So a lot of life experiences, lessons that you've learned, you really know, right? You have like this inner knowing, this knowledge. It's like you've been through it and it's like you're at a point in your life where you're no longer dealing with anybody. anybody's like, you know, BS. It's like, are you with me or are you not? You know what? I don't have time to play games. Like I've learned my lessons. I've been through it and now I'm ready to move forward. And you know, if this person friend, family, coworker, love, interest, whatever it is, if they're not adding value to my life, you know, I've got the wisdom, the clarity to cut you right out. It's like, I, it's like you have this, you, you know, I feel like you've been through many situations that have helped you grow as a person. Yeah. And I think that you are kind of feeling optimistic about the future. I think you're blocking out people who don't add value to your life anymore. I think you're ending situations that kind of make you feel like there's no movement. It's like you're kind of realizing in certain situations, it doesn't have to pertain to be love. It can be, you know, friends, that kind of thing. But if these people really are truly with you, then you'll put up a wall against them. And you know what? I don't think you really care. You're not looking back. You know, you're holding your head high and you're doing your thing and you're looking good doing it we have Aries Scorpio energy here but it's like you have no it's like maybe you have a vision or a dream for the future and you're defending that you're not allowing anybody to put it put a stop to it you know maybe you've been you know you've been stagnant for too long you've been held back for too long but now you're making these choices you're making these decisions to move forward because you have a dream you have a goal and you want to take a risk on it you want to be happy it's like you're going to block out anything or anybody who tries to stop you from moving on and holding your head high and doing your own thing taking care of yourself. You've already learned your lessons. You're tired of learning more lessons. You're done with that. You're moving forward optimistically as well. Alrighty. For Aquarius, we have freedom. So you may have been in situations in the past where you felt like you were caged. You know, you felt like somebody may have clipped your wings. They may have kept you from progressing or seeing your full potential or potential 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 or value couldn't even get that one out it's like maybe this person has held you back for quite some time or you've been in situations that did not allow you to spread your wings and soar you know to really achieve your dreams but now i think you're breaking that barrier and you're allowing yourself no you're fighting for the opportunity to grow okay to match your full potential 
Yeah, you've really gone introspective here. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Pisces Cancer energy. But it's like you've really gone into introspective mode. You are really evaluating anything and everything in your life right now. It's like you've really taken a very quiet moment. You've distanced yourself from friends, family, anything like that. Because, you know, there's been a lot of things that were unknown to you. It's like you didn't even realize your full potential, your your full value until you broke free of this barrier. For some of you, this could be past. I mean, this could be two, three, four, five years. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be this current energy. But it's like you went through a period of your life where you really withdrew. You really tried to find answers and clarity because there's so many things that are un, you know, illuminated here. So many things that are really mysterious and hidden. It's like you just want answers and information. And I feel like breaking free, you know, it could just be a mental prison that you kind of kept yourself in, holding yourself back. But I feel like breaking that barrier allowed you to really take flight and really progress, right? To be or create anything that you want. All right. That was our air sign. Some pretty heavy messages were coming through today. What is the deal? All right. <clears throat> we're going to move into Earth. If you guys like that, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Alright, for our Earth signs, what messages, what guidance, what clarity, what insight do we have for our Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for the weekend, February 28th through the 1st of March 2020? What messages need to come through? What insights do we have for our Earth signs? Taurus. Virgo and Capricorn. Oh, those are flyers. Taurus, Virgo, ooh, and Capricorn. All right, let's do this. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What messages, guidance, and clarity? What insight do we need to have for our Earth signs for the weekend? February 28th through March 1st. What messages, guidance, and clarity need to come through for our Earth signs? Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Alright, as a lot of you guys already know, we do a general collective message for Earth signs. It um, may or may not correlate to your actual readings. It's just a general message for the Earth sign collective. It may just be for one specific person. So this could be somebody coming back or this is just you celebrating something. I feel like though somebody kind of wants to apologize, you know, they're kind of miss having fun with you. They miss talking to you. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, this person wants to be victorious. I think they've realized some things here. They've kind of realized that maybe they messed up in the past. You know, things weren't balanced or fair. Yeah, this person wants to make you an offer. They're realizing that you make them happy. Ooh, what's this about? But we have the sun and the death card. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you'll take them back. Maybe you won't. I think this is kind of because it's kind of split to most of you. Some of you want them back. Some of you don't. This definitely seems like an ex for some of you or a past life soulmate, uh, but this person, I feel like they've got something to apologize for because your walls are kind of up against this person. Could be done with a fellow earth sign or you just really working hard right now, kind of focusing on your career, kind of holding back from this person. But I think this person, they're having a hard time leaving you alone. They really realize some things here. They really messed up when it comes to you. They have a lot of anxiety about you. They can't stop thinking about you. They're realizing that they made some kind of serious mistake here. They're really realizing some truth. They've had some revelations here. They want to come to see you possibly. There could be travel involved here. You guys could be at a distance from each other. But I don't know. I think you're just kind of sitting back and kind of seeing what they're going to do. Maybe you're afraid taking them back is going to be too much conflict, too much pain. I don't know. I kind of feel like it's 50-50. Some of you want to work with them and some of you don't. But there's a lot of communication about working together. They want to make things work with you. They're realizing some things here. They messed up. They messed up. Alright. That was the general message. Like I said, it may just be for one person out there. It may or may not correlate to your actual readings. For Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This one wanted to come. We're going to see it. All right, for Taurus, we have compassion. So I feel like you are the person, Taurus, who is always taking care of everybody else. You're always looking out for everyone else's best interest. You know, you are always the shoulder for everybody else to cry on. You know, if anybody has a problem, they come to you. There you are. But you know what? Who's there when, you know, you need somebody? And I think that's the question you need to ask yourself. 
Who is it that you can rely on? Who can you depend on any hour of the day? Because you are that person for everybody else. But it's like, I think, I mean, I get really strong empath energy. You know, it's like all these emotions that you're absorbing from other people, it's draining you. And people don't realize it's like, it's too much. I think you're holding on to everybody else's pain. I think you're that person, male or female, like that kind of nurturing motherly energy who just kind of takes care of everybody else in your environment. Whoa. All major arcana here. So, Taurus, you could be dealing with a fellow Taurus, Leo, maybe a Pisces energy here. But this is a very spiritual card here with the Hierophant here. I think that you... For some of you who are married or committed, this is not for all of you, you might be... You know, before I say anything, I'm going to grab some additional cards because I feel like very specific messages are coming through and I want to make sure that I relay the right message here. Alright, clarify these cards for Taurus. What else needs to come through for Taurus? We have Ten of Pentacles, so some of you, this does involve a commitment of some sort, or your financial state, but I'm feeling like, we have Virgo energy here as well, so we have Taurus, Leo, Pisces, Virgo. Some of you are kind of holding back in a situation, maybe you feel this is going to higher levels of commitment, but you're just kind of resistant about it, or maybe you feel like your person has gone to come quiet on you, maybe you feel like this is heading to higher levels of commitment, and you're ready to persevere and move forward here, but your person is kind of at this crossroads, your person's kind of stagnant, maybe they've gone quiet on you, maybe you've gone quiet on them, like you're ready for things to progress and move forward here, because you can see long term, you can see commitment, you can see stability here, but it's like somebody here is conflicted. Maybe somebody has multiple options to choose from, but somebody's kind of gone quiet. They're just not really making any moves. They're kind of hanging around, not really doing anything. They haven't made their decision. Or maybe this is you. This could be you, Taurus, or your person, but somebody here is just kind of holding back, and it could involve some type of marriage or commitment. Very interesting energy, but I think that you're just... I think that you're just so focused on everything else around you. You know, you're trying to take care of your home, take care of your career, your coworkers, your family, your friends. And it's like, you've got things going on at home. It's like, you never get quiet time to yourself. You know, you just, maybe some of you feel like you can't quite, you know, focus on your marriage or your commitment, you know, because you have so many other things you need to take care of right now. It's like, you're having to hold back. Maybe some of you can't actually progress and move forward to your person, or, your, or this could be vice versa. This is a really interesting energy that I'm picking up on. Very specific. This is probably like for one person. So guys, this is specific. If it's not your message, please check your other placements. Alright, for our Virgos, we have release. So what have you been holding on to, Virgo? This can be anything. This can be a toxic person. This doesn't have to be a love interest. It could be for some of you. It could be a, a toxic ex who kind of comes back into the picture here. This could be a situation where it's a coworker who's really annoying. You know what I mean? It could be a friend or family member who's not adding value to your life. This could just be a toxic way of thinking. Maybe you're thinking very negatively. You know, release that. Let it go. Stop holding on to it. Yeah. So, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. I think that you are feeling very passionate here, but you're feeling left out in the cold. Maybe this situation is where somebody here isn't quite expressing their emotions to you, Virgo. You could be dealing with this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups, you know, they have emotions, but they are the master of it. They don't quite always let on to how they're feeling and I think that you passionately want to pursue this person you're passionate about the chemistry and the connection the emotions that you have tied to this person but this person doesn't open up and the issue here is this person makes you feel left out in the cold I mean I think the emotions and the passion are there but the problem is this person isn't expressing it to you this person they're making you feel left out they're making you feel alone you feel like you are you know <laughs> It's like, 
you're giving, 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 but they're not giving to you. It's like, you're all about this. You're all about this. And it can be cry right, blah, 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 blah. It can be vice versa, cross watchers, but it's like, you're just feeling like this person's not emotionally fulfilling your needs and it's making you feel cold, okay? Maybe you need to release this or release the, um, some of you are kind of getting that anxious energy where you're ready to like hop off this throne and go pursue it. Maybe you need to kind of sit back Relax, breathe, and allow divine timing to take over here. All right, for Capricorn, we have such specific messages today, you guys. <laughs> and I can't talk for nothing. All right, we have abundance, Capricorn. So this is a beautiful energy. This is happiness, right? This is bliss. This is having what you want, okay? This is that 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups kind of energy here. A lot of cards here. I think that you... Things maybe haven't been balanced in the past. A lot of you guys can like throw yourself into work and other things, but I think you're going to be receiving communication from a certain individual. We have a lot of fire energy here, Aries, Leo, Sag. We also have Earth, but I think you're going to be receiving some com receiving communication from this person so that you can build or grow. For a lot of you, though, I do feel like this could be a work situation where you know you're receiving news about money coming. Because I'm seeing a progression here in finances. Maybe you're getting a raise. Maybe you're getting a you know, like a bonus or something like that. But for others of you, you maybe see receiving news that things haven't been balanced in the past, but now this person is coming into the picture wanting to unexpectedly communicate with you and tell you that they're ready to put all of their time, energy, and focus in on you and this connection. They have done some serious future planning here with this two of wands. They have been trying to foresee the future, right? Really trying to figure out what is it they want in their future and they feel like past situations have been too much, it's been too burdensome, so that abundance is starting to be created between the two of you because this person has realized that they want to put all of their focus in on the connection with you. For others of you, abundance coming in, hard work has paid off here. We have a 10 moving to a completion here and you may be getting some type of financial compensation here for your hard work and efforts. All right, I, I am sorry, guys. I know these are incredibly specific tonight. So like I said, if they're not your messages, always be aware that you can check your moon rising and your Venus signs. If you don't know those, you can check cafeastrology.com and you can find out for free, okay? Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if it resonated for you. All right. For our fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, what messages, what guidance, what insight... What information do our fire signs need to know moving forward for the weekend, February 28th through March 1st? What messages need to come through for our fire signs? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What messages, guidance, and clarity, what insight, what information needs to come through for our fire signs? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Let me get a sip of coffee real quick. All right. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What messages, what guidance, what insight and clarity, what information can we get for our fire signs for the weekend? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aries. Leo and Sagittarius. Oh, that card is important. Must have been important. Ten of Cups. My goodness. All right, you guys, as you know, we have started doing a fire sign collective message. It is just a general message. It may not even correlate with your actual readings. It could just be a general message for one specific person out here. I'm gonna put this back in the deck and we're gonna do one more shuffle here. Okay. News and communication. I think somebody who's been very quiet on you up until now, I wanna say, is returning to the picture here. Who is this? Could be a fire sign. This person's been really holding back communication, but now they're wanting to make things work with you. 
I'm getting it. Yeah, I mean, we have the magician and the um, the fool here. This has got new written all over. Some of you, it could just be someone you've had your eye on for a while. Some of you it could be someone returned to the picture here. But this person's been a little bit quiet on you. They haven't been communicating with you. This person wants to make it happen with you. They want you to take a chance on them. Ooh. Who is this? They want to open a new chapter with you. This person, they are very trapped in their head when it comes to you. They can't quite fight you out of their mind. They're just constantly obsessed with thoughts of you. This person has gotten very clear. This person is thinking really logically right now. They want to communicate really, um, what's the right word? They want to communicate with you and be very honest and very blunt. They want to just tell you, you know what? I can't get you off my mind. No matter what I do, I just can't cut the ties I have of you. And I have made the decision here that I need to move towards you. We need to communicate. We need to get the ball rolling here. Let's go out. Let's go for drinks. Let's celebrate. Let's spend some time together. And I feel like for you, it's like, but do I want this? You've been quiet on me for quite some time. You know, should I make you work for a little bit? Maybe there was a painful ending for some of you guys. Or maybe some of you guys went through a, pay, a painful ending previous to this and now you're just a little bit hesitant about progressing things forward with this person. You know, if this is a past present for some of you guys, you know, they may have hurt you really bad in the past. I mean, it may be too much for you. I mean, there might be too much damage done here. For others of you who this is not a past person in any way, shape, or form, maybe you've had a lot of heartbreak and a lot of pain in the past, and you're really knowing your worth and your value, and you're afraid to take a chance and risk what you have. You're afraid of new love. You have your walls up here. You don't know what to do. But there is new love here. There is love here. I think it's up to you guys. Yeah, Four of Wands and the Ace of Cups. They're serious about you. All right, that was just a general message for our fire signs. Like I say, it may or may not resonate to your actual readings. Just for somebody out there. All right. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Oops. I must have flipped that. <laughs> okay. Aries, sanctuary here. So your place of healing, right? What is that for you? Is it, a, is it a place? Is it a person? Is it memories? What is it for you that feels like your safe haven? That place that you can really be yourself. You can be true to yourself. You can be vulnerable. Okay, You can let your guard down. You can heal. Maybe it's a person for some of you. We have this Queen of Wands energy. This could be you. This could be your person. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Leo energy here as well. And we have um, some interesting energy here. I think you're very passionate about somebody. I think maybe you've been holding back from somebody in the past. Maybe you were with someone who's a bit controlling or hot-tempered. But I think that you're maybe walking away from a situation and walking towards this Four of Wands, 11-11, Twin Flame Soulmate energy here. This is a specific message. So for those of you who are in a commitment with someone else or in a connection, you may be walking away from that. You might have been holding back for a while. Maybe this person was a little bit manipulative and controlling. And you're walking toward this, this new beginning somewhere else where you feel like it's divinely God. You feel like this person is your safe haven, your place where you can be yourself, right? True to yourself. For others of you where this is not third party, I think you're passionate about this person, but you've been holding back. You know, you've been fearful of moving toward this person because maybe you feel like conflicted. Maybe you feel like things won't work out or you're, you're just fearful. You're fearful of that. Maybe you've been really hurt in the past, but whatever the case, you feel divinely guided to move toward this person. You can't quite control the passion, the chemistry. You know, it's all here. For Leo, we have release. Virgo just got this card. You could be done with a Virgo or you could have strong Virgo in your chart, but release. So think about it this way. It's like, is it a person? Is it something going on in your life? Is it an addiction? Is it just obsessive thinking? Is it negative thoughts? Is it self-doubt? Is it insecurity? What is it that you've been holding on to? It could be a toxic karmic partner. It could be a situation, a job that doesn't serve you anymore. Friends and family who don't have your best interests at heart. Whatever it is that you need to clear from your life, let go of it because it's been too heavy. It's too been too burdensome. Yes, there was a painful, painful ending here. And maybe you've been holding on to the pain from the past, Leo. And I think that, you know, you could have a cancer somewhere here in the mix. We also have fire and air energy as well. I think you're moving swiftly towards a victory for your own success. I think that you, now for some of you, 
if this is like an ex situation who just kind of won't clear themselves from your energy, then Leo, this person, even though they've hurt you in the past, they're insistently charging back in here with that big fat head of theirs, that ego of theirs, you know, trying to make a move towards you. But, you know, you're trying desperately to clear them out. For others of you who have completely severed ties with this person, there's somewhere new that you want to be. You see a future somewhere else. You see your success somewhere else. And it may be physical travel for some of you guys. Maybe you're moving to a new place, to a new person. But you're clearing out toxic old energies and moving toward success. And we have Sagittarius here. We have choice. So Sagittarius, the decision is yours. What do you want to do here? You can go left, you can go right, but you can't go both. You've got to pick one and make a decision here. Oh my, oh my. So maybe you're dealing with this Knight of Wands. We have Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, water energy here as well. So the issue I think for you, there could be for one an age difference. It's for some of you, not for all of you. But the issue here is this person's been a little bit hot and cold, a little bit in and out of your life. This person can be known as the player card of the tarot, but this person, they're here passionately. They're very attracted to you. They're all about you but here you are in this queen of pentacles energy really knowing your value and your worth really nurturing your pentacle you are not going to just give it to a pesky little knight okay you need to step up and make a serious king or emperor type offer to me but the problem here is you feel this is a soulmate this is divinely guided and your decision here is should you offer this person your heart should you give it to them should you build with this person should you invest into this person who's been very in and out of your life the problem here is there is a strong connection there's a strong chemistry there's a strong emotional tie you have to this person but you know what you want you know what you deserve and you're waiting for this person to step up and communicate emotionally and when they do you're going to have a very serious choice to make you know now you're expressing your emotions to me but are they sincere are you going to be hot and cold because i want serious king offers here i don't want night offers i deserve king offers all right that was our fire signs please remember to like comment and subscribe these are just really specific messages i don't know whose energy i'm picking up on if this is your story let me know all right for our water signs, last but not least, Cancer and Scorpio and Pisces. What messages, what guidance, what insight and clarity, what information do our water signs need to know moving forward for the weekend, February 28th through March 1st? What messages, guidance and clarity, what insight, what information, what guidance do we have for our water signs for the weekend? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Alright. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What message need to come through for our Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces friends? What messages, what guidance, what insight and clarity, what information do we have for our water sign for this weekend? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. As a lot of you guys already know, we started doing a pre-shuffle message for the Water Sign Collective. It's a general message that may or may not correlate to your actual readings. They're just general messages from spirit. They may be for one very specific person out there. All right. So you're feeling very emotional here. Your emotions are running high. I think that you are someone who is very empathic, very healing. Water Signs, this is your card here. You're very empathic. You're very nurturing. You're very healing. You... Are feeling really emotional about something because there's a major imbalance here maybe you're not able to give enough of your time and energy to a particular person or situation or they're not able to do that with you and it makes your emotions kind of scattered all over the place you know you're having a hard time controlling that um, we have the hermit here so somebody could have gone quiet here 
also have the sun card. So this person makes you really happy. The problem is it's like, what do I deserve though? It's like you keep going quiet on me. Things are really imbalanced and really unfair in this situation. You know, I'm hurting here and I'm really knowing my worth and my value. And I want to build and grow with somebody. I want serious commitments. I want happiness. I want somebody to put all their time, energy, and focus in on this connection. I want a healing here. I want my wish granted. I don't want to be in this energy of pain and heartache anymore. Maybe you feel divinely guided to be somewhere else. Maybe for some of you, you're in a third party situation and things just aren't balanced and fair because of that. However, the dynamics of the relationship, something is unbalanced here. Somebody is giving to too many other things. Keep in mind, guys, karmics do not have to be physical people. They can be anything that comes from your relationship. It can be pride. It can be ego. Um, somebody here is really trying to be strong right now. Somebody here is fighting with themselves. Maybe you have a lot of emotions for this person, but there's a part of you that's trying to heal and get over it because... Even though you love this person, friend, family, love interest, whatever it is, they just do not add value to your life. Maybe they want to apologize for this because there has been an imbalance. Somebody here hasn't had made things equal and fair here. Maybe they're coming back around with this new opportunity for you because there's kind of this toxic energy tied to this person. Maybe theirs is a third party here. Maybe... For others of you that that does not resonate for, there's something they're kind of addicted to. I mean, it could just be holding back their emotions. It could be sleeping too much, eating too much. It could be spending too much money. I mean, it could be anything that comes between this connection. And things just aren't balanced and fair here. Maybe you're doing some kind of research, investigating this person to see if they're coming back. Are you genuine? Are things going to be fair? Because you know what? I do not want another towel moment in my life. You better come in here and promise me the world because that's what I deserve. All right, that was just a general message. I feel like that was heavy, but that was the general message. It may or may not resonate for all of you. We're going to do Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right. For Cancer, we have Sanctuary here. So who had this card? Was it Aries? Who is your safe place, okay? Who is that safe haven? Or is it a, is it a place? Is it a person? What is that for you? Where is that place that you feel at home? Where is that place that you feel divinely guided to be? Where you feel like you can be yourself. You can be open and vulnerable. And you can just be free. Where, where is that place of healing for you? Where is that place of comfort for you? I think you're stressed out. I think you're exhausted. I think you're in desperate need of healing. And you've been waiting for quite some time for these feelings, for this heavy energy to subside, to finally overcome these obstacles and challenges and finally have your wish granted. It's like you have planted the seeds. You have put so much time, energy, and focus and on healing, on this business, on this education, on this situation in love. And and whatever it pertains to be, it's like I've put so much of myself into it and I am in desperate need of healing, replenishment. And you're just waiting, waiting, waiting. But keep in mind where we have a 10, we have an ending and we have new beginnings and transformations. So this cycle is coming to an end here. For Scorpio, we have playfulness. So this is kind of a flirty, fun kind of energy. So you may have been met someone who kind of has this interesting playful exciting flirtatious kind of energy with you you're having a good time you're going out you're meeting people you're taking care of yourself you're laughing you're trying to enjoy yourself we have the queen of swords ace of swords and the sun card so i think you definitely could be dealing with a strong air sign energy gemini libra aquarius we also have leo here but i think you're in this energy here of you no longer want the heavy. You no longer want the heartbreak. You no longer want anything that doesn't serve you, your, your best interest. It's like, I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I want to be happy. If you don't serve that, you're going to get cold. With anybody who's not here to fulfill you or have a good time or isn't going to be honest and upfront with you, you will cut these people out of your life. It does not matter if it is a friend, family member, lover. It doesn't matter. If they don't serve you, if they're not honest with you, if they don't add value and happiness to your life, you've had realizations here. You have no problem detaching yourself emotionally from this person or these people. You have no problem cutting them out because right now you're enjoying yourself. You're taking care of yourself. You're having fun and it's well-deserved fun. All right, for our Pisces, we have healing. So 
there could be a situation here where for some of you, you could be dealing with a broken heart. You know, you could be feeling really down. You could be depressed. You could be sleeping a lot. You could be, some of you, I'm even hearing for some of you self-medicating. You know, I do see those bottles there. Some of you could be drinking. That's not for all of you. This is just a general reading. Take what resonates. But there's, there's a need for healing here. You've been through something really heavy, something really toxic and painful. Yeah, you've been through something incredibly painful and difficult. There was an ending here. And I think that you have been holding on to this pain for quite some time. But I think that you're realizing here that it's all a matter of divine timing. Things are going to align where they're supposed to. I want you to know that this wheel is an omen of good luck and good fortune. Where there are endings, there are new beginnings. We just release, remember to release this pain and this heartache to let go of the past forgive don't forget right and do that for yourself nobody else there's apologies here someone here is very remorseful they are sorry for how things ended they may want to apologize to you but i think that it's going to be a hard no from you pisces i feel like you are are healing here you are doing your best to get over any heartache and pain from the past and you're moving forward and you know that it's a part of your destiny to move to something more fulfilling maybe someone maybe this water sign energy here who is going to reciprocate emotions to you and add value to your life all right that was your messages i hope that you all enjoyed this please remember to like comment and subscribe as always i am wishing you strength and many blessings